We're looking at an early 19th century American binding, which is a geography book by Jedediah Morse, who was the father of American geography. This was published in Boston in 1807. And it's interesting because the binding is relatively well preserved. And uh, the a uh, very early owner here, it looks like maybe 1814, has written their name there. Uh, and as well as back here, they've written the date, 1810, and the price that they paid for this book. And they're in Ossipee, New Hampshire, which is very interesting uh, provenance for uh, an American geography book of this era. Uh, at the front is a copper engraved folding map of the world in double hemispheres here. It's published by Thomas and Andrews and it notes that it's the latest discoveries uh, are shown. And there is, after this advertisement leaf, directions to the bookbinder here. And we see that there should be a map of North America on page 50. And indeed there is. Here we have a folding copper engraved map showing from taken from the latest discoveries 1800, which is interesting. It's a 10-year gap between the imprint of this map and the title page. Yeah, there's Quivira, a mythical kingdom in the West, New Albion for California, for instance. No mention here or note of a uh, mountain range in the center of the country, and so on. There's other aspects to that map that are interesting. The text block is uniformly toned and age-spotted, but still bound and tight as issued. Uh, what's interesting is towards the rear of the section on North America, there's uh, a section for each state. Then we get into, towards the end of it, a part about Louisiana, then Spanish dominions, East and West Florida, Mexico or New Spain, it was all part of Spanish America. And then there is the West Indies, but there's also uh, discoveries, recent discoveries, here we are. Right, new discoveries, right here, new discoveries. Um, that are discussed. The Friendly Islands, New Zealand is referred to. Captain Cook here is mentioned. Uh, then we get into covering the rest of the world. And uh, Jedediah Morse was known for his moralistic tone and his lack of emphasis upon fact and interjecting his own personal opinions. But at any rate, this book is available now on my website, brindymambro.com.